Anything's music. Examples? I don't know. This could be music. So, I'm um, Forrest, I'm 17, I'm turning 18 in June, so that's like a month away. I am the guitarist and backup vocalist of uh, Ballot Box. Outside of Ballot Box, I've definitely like wrote little songs for myself on guitar. I started with the piano in primary school, and then I went on to the guitar also at primary school. And then I hated the piano teacher. I, was, I, I like cried in piano practice. I'm more of a string instrument guy now. Got like the blue room, got the yellow room with all the hats. Dad's room is yellow. And then my room, I decided to paint green ages ago. Multiple people have said it looks like Kermit's ass. Um, we got Radiohead. And, uh, they're maybe my favorite band? I don't know, I don't listen to as much Radiohead uh, now, but they're definitely a big influence. Do you drop in right now? Probably, let me go get the skateboard. Someone gave it to my grandma to give to me. An acoustic guitar, a really old acoustic guitar. Um, something was wrong with it. You could only play right down at the bottom of the fret. And I just kind of learned, you know, smoke on the water. And then I graduated to a same electric guitar I have today. My dad bought that for me for my birthday. Ah, uh, so me and Emily like sticking googly eyes on things. On one day we did that and we're like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if you put a bunch of googly eyes on, googly eyes on my guitar? I don't know, I like it. It makes a cool noise. It could be a per percussion instrument too now. I've always just kind of noodled. I've always wanted to, I think I've always wanted to be a musician, I think like write music, it's always seemed interesting to me. Nicole Mace, she died when I was like three, and I've never really felt that sad um, because I've never really known her. Bob came to um, help my dad uh, during those times and he just kind of stayed. He's kind of like a second dad slash sound guy, like, like, you know, like a fifth member of the, of the band and helped uh, raise me. I've got my dad and I've got Bob and I've got my friends. So I'm chilling. But it was more my dad that was raising me. I don't have much of a collar actually. That's alright, it doesn't matter where it is, it's just around this time. What's that? Oh, wait a minute, how does it? It's, it's consistent. Oh, I see it. Yeah, yeah. There. there. Ah, I see it. How are you related to Forrest? So we know what you're talking I'm his father, so I'm reasonably closely related to Forrest. <laughs> You know, I guess being a dad, I'm into dad rock. And so Forrest has a good grounding in Led Zeppelin. <laughs> I can remember him when he was like about three, something from Led Zepp 1, and s sort of just going, whoa, singing in the back of the car. And the windows were open and there were like people pulled up with us at the um, lights and they were just like, 
even back to really old music, I took Forrest to see Black Sabbath, because, well, they're an awesome band, and I thought it was important that he see them when he was, I don't know, nine or something, and I think he knew a lot of the songs. Bob is, uh, he's probably got a wider range of music that he listens to than me, and he exposed that to Forrest too as you do, just just by living. He was very into um, developing my creativity. He wanted me to get into drawing. I liked drawing and it always really pushed me to keep drawing. And I'd, I'd, I'd of course always just like start crying, going, wow, my drawing's not good enough. Yeah, that's, that's how I was. Bob was pretty much here since Forrest was just a bit before two until 15 or something like that. He walked me to school and like, and I like played with me in the mornings when my dad was at work or something, you know. He's a, he's a cheeky bugger. Yeah, we're very good friends and we've um, known each other 30 years, I think. A long time, we're getting old. Yeah, I would say that Forrest probably has been significantly influenced by Bob throughout his life. I think both my dad and Bob have probably musically influenced me from such a young age. It would have been both at the same time, probably. Forrest is obviously forging his own path now and um, yeah, likes all sorts of things that he's discovering for himself. That's, I guess, the story. It's, and it's how it should be. Three dudes. Toilet seat was always up. You live in two and a half men in real life. Yeah. Holy oh my. God. I've never, never seen that. that. I've never seen that show. What? What's the premise? They're the two men and the yeah. little guy. I'm, I'm the half man. Yeah. I am the half man in two and a half men. Is my dad Charlie Sheen or is Bob Charlie Sheen? Uh, Bob's Charlie. Bob's, Bob's Charlie, Charlie Sheen. Sheen. And maybe the documentary should be called Forest Mace of the Half Man. Yeah, go for it. Like, why not? Like, I don't know, there's nothing holding you back but yourself, you know? Just if you enjoy it, then do it. Simple as that. There's no real trip, it's just it. Yeah. Oh, no. That's no, Nike took that one. Whatever you do, don't do it like Nike. <laughs> Close. 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 Close.